Okay, let's have a look at quizzes again, and this time we're going to look at question pools. Um, I had an email from somebody wishing uh, for me to demonstrate how to make question pools. So let's have a quick look at that. Okay, the first thing we do, we come up to the quiz and we go to the question pool manager. Let's pull that down there, and we'll add some pools. So I've got three there, and I've clicked on number one. I've got number one selected. So we can go close and it comes up as an empty question pool. Um, then I can say quiz, we want to have a question slide. We can have four of those and I'm going to go OK. And that's gone in on pool one. The reason it's gone in on pool one is because when I had the questions pools manager open I had pool one selected. And you can see here, here's the questions, all the type of questions anyway. Now let's make up pool two. And I can now add the questions from here. I'm just going to put a couple in there. And go OK. So this procedure is where I'm actually making the questions, and that hasn't updated yet. Let's put pool three, add some questions in there. Go OK. Now that's done, we can have a look at pool two. See that I've got four in there. Pool one, I've got four in there. Pool three, I've got three in there. Okay. So that's our questions made. Obviously you'd alter the questions up here, but you can do that. Now we need to come back to our timeline and insert a question slide. This time we're going to insert a random question from pool one for instance. And now we're going to put another one in, another question slide, a random question from pool 2. And to finish off, question slide, random question, I'm going to put one in from pool 3. And that's basically all you have to do to put question pools in.